Hi folks, welcome back to another one of our short videos. It's a very chilly March morning and we've got this absolutely stunning 90 just about to leave the Emporium. So we've done quite a bit of work to this. Uh, particularly nice one this, so I'll just go through the, uh, the items we've added. I've actually put the lights on just so you can see the intensity of those uh, laser lights. It doesn't really do it justice on the um, camera. We're just literally waiting for the number plate to turn up this this morning. So hopefully it'll turn up before the customer gets here. We've got a lovely shiny new number plate on the front. So we have added the D44 front bumper um, with the bumperettes. You can have with or without, but uh, quite a people have them with actually because it just protects the corner. So you've got the laser RRR 750 Gen 2s with position light in there. A stunning light. They're on full beam at the moment, um, but I've got a DRL in the bottom of them. So daytime running light or position light. So makes the vehicle look a bit sharper from the front and it also you've got the safety aspect of it as well obviously when we put the bumper on we put things like stainless steel bolts on and new caps on um, these are the original lights they were already in there so they've already got a nice um led light in there so we haven't had to touch those um, on the top we've added the linear 48 this is quite a new light i've got it on my own trucks so i've been using it for some time and i've got to say it's stunning the great thing about it is you don't have to have a roof rack because it comes with a gutter mount system we keep these in stock all the time so we can send them out if you're interested in one um, they fit beautifully, as you can see. So I don't stick up in the air. Now, if you've got a roof rack, I think the bigger lights, maybe like the Triple R, look a lot better. But if you haven't got a roof rack, then definitely a linear 48 is a better looking light, in my opinion. That sits really neatly up there, as you can see. There's a dual band antenna for the um, audio upgrade that we've done. We've added security to this, obviously. Um, this car came in with a reverse camera, but it was all manky. So we've taken it off, wrapped it all down, repainted the brackets, put it back on with stainless screws. These screws are stainless, but we paint them black so they don't go rusty. We've had the DU Utility 45, which is a very powerful rear work light. As always, comes from laser, it's got a five year warranty. It's not gonna go wrong, so it's irrelevant really, but it's got it just in case you need it. In the back here, we've obviously full interior soundproofing. We've been through this loads of time, so I don't want to bore you, but you know, we've got our up upgraded system on the bottom here now. So we've also got six mil foam across the bottom pan, as well as the side. So extra little bits we're adding all the time. And we've upgraded our, this is ultimate audio actually, but we now include vocal rear speakers. We have done for the last year or so actually. This has got the um, custom rubber checker plate, which we're a massive fan of. Looks really, really cool when it's done. It's very durable. It's really smart and we've got the stainless steel finishes the brush finishes which is just tidy everything up um there's all the customers old bits in there there's your jail audio subwoofer cp106 awesome sub this one's also got the alcantara headlining we've added the recaros i'll go around the front and show you them in a second very rare at the moment very hard to get hold of Doors have obviously got a three layer soundproofing system. That's the back of the door card, the regulator, outer skin of the door. I've actually left the seat base out of here. So we've got the Recaros here with the detachable seat bases. And again, when we do them, we make both sides detachable, not just one side. And we also shim them. I know we go over this a lot, but that's so that there's a little gap here. Look. So when the seat goes backwards and forwards, it doesn't rub and it doesn't squeak. It's really important. This had ultimate audio, so there's your jail audio, five channel amplifier there. All super neat and tidy. Put in there to last a lifetime. You can see the bracket that we've, the mount that we fab up for it. It's all painted and looking pretty. This is obviously all soundproofed. We've done the high rise cubby, popular upgrade, because it's nice and comfortable. Done the twin USBs. Come on, focus. You can see them, can't you? This already had a double DIN navigation. It wasn't a very nice set, so we've replaced that with the Pioneer, currently a 9200, which is the first one that gives you wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, DAB, etc. I've added front and rear witness cameras. Thinkware Q800 two channel. There's the microphone up the top there. Let's just show you the rear camera. Because it's quite a trick where we put these. Just get them just here, look. So not in the side window, no point in putting them there. I need to go in the swept area of the screen. So it just sits up there. Cables are all hidden behind here. You can see the cable just dips around here, around the cluster, back out the bottom. So from the outside, well, you can't see it. That's how we want it to be. You 
see the finish in there is absolutely lovely. We've completely replaced all the carpets in here. So we carpeted seat box, new floor mats, new gearbox tunnel carpet. We keep the original rubber at the back here, or vinyl, because it's really durable. And it comes down here, so you've got extra layers underneath here. There's the mid-base driver for the Ultimate Hi-Fi. That's what produces all that lovely punchy mid-base. There's the mid. There's the lovely focal tweeter that sits in the top of the dash. I don't know why my phone's gone out of focus. Let's see if it uh, needs a little clean. Hold on. Is that any better? <laughs> no, just need a new phone, I guess. There you go, so because... Uh, oh, it's shot up a little bit now. Unfortunately, we couldn't do anything about this panel here because it's already in, so nothing we can do with that. There you go. Another Defender completed with love, as always. Hope you've enjoyed the video. We've got absolutely tons of losing at the moment. We're booked in. So it's currently March and we're fully booked until getting towards the end of June now. Um, we are looking for new installers. So we're looking for new people to join the team. So if you really think you've got what it takes to join the Defender part of our team, get in touch. We've had quite a few CVs. We're working through them. So if you've not heard from us, you will do soon. There you go. Have a happy weekend. Thanks very much for watching.